the law of self-discipline. Indiscipline is a core characteristic of children. Strong does not belong to children. You don't make a business of living, you go bankrupt with your eyes open. So until you start taking responsibility, you are not a candidate for the throne. Welcome, I cherish viewers to Weekend Channel. This is a place where we inspire, we extract, we form you concern the area of your spiritual life, your moral life, and your financial life. In this video, the Bishop David Oedipo explained discipline. He said that the throne is not for indisciplined people. He explained that if you don't take responsibility, you will be a liability. Discipline is a requirement for success. This video is going to bless you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos. See you at the end of this video. Nobody here will go bankrupt. So, take responsibility. The law of self-discipline as a requirement for successful living. Self-discipline. Although we have been redeemed as priests and kings to reign on the earth, but Indiscipline can rob any believer of his throne. We saw a graphic picture there in Ecclesiastes 10, verse 5. There's a evil which I've seen under the sun, an arrow which proceeded from the king, from the ruler, fully set in high places. It's set in great dignity, and the rich sit in low places. I've seen servants riding upon horses, and princes walking as servants upon the earth. You know what that means? Believers are down, down there. Unbelievers are up, up there. He says, I'm evil in my sight. Because I've done all I needed to do to make you stand out wherever you belong. But he went on to let us know what happened. He that did get a piece shall fall into it. Whosoever break it an edge, break a covenant, the serpent shall bite it. Whosoever removes stones shall be stones shall be endangered there with hot there with, and in the cleaver wood shall be endangered thereby. So let's find out what went wrong. Verse 16, he said, Go unto the old land when thy king is a child, and thy princes eat in the morning. But blessed are thou, old land, when thy king is the son, son of the noble, and thy princes eat in due season for strength and not for drunkenness. Now those two verses connote one of the covenants broken by these princes who are working on food while servants are riding on horses. They broke the covenant of discipline. They were playing baby. And here, when is a child, as long as he's a child, as long as he's a child, it can be 20 years, 50 years, as long as he continues to play the child, does not it's not different from a servant though it be here of all things but it's under tutors and governors he needs supervision for anything to work in his hand Super, he needs to be supervised he can go in wire at any point eyes must be on him if you send him to the market you call, continue to monitor whether it's gone there or not he's a baby as long as he's a child, it's not different from himself. The throne does not belong to children. <laughs> unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon the shoulder of the son, not the child. Indiscipline is a core characteristic of children. Children don't know anything about responsibility. So until you start taking responsibility, you are not a candidate for the throne. I said there in the first service, the opposite of responsibility is liability. You either take responsibility or you end up in liability. So we need 
to be conscious of the place of self-discipline in a quest to experience and sustain success. It's not just experience success. It's to sustain success. Discipline among others is possessing a sense of mission in the pursuit of life. Know ye not that an erase run on and one receive the pride so wrong that you may obtain. I therefore so wrong, not as one that beat it, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beat it the air. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection. Come see self-discipline. That's self-discipline. That's the definition of it. I bring my body under and bring it into subjection. Lest after I pray to others, I myself should become a castaway. To remain in front, I must keep my body under. Body be. This is the task for the moment. Only an indisciplined student who go for his brother's wedding during the exam. And decide to take an indisciplined parent to allow it. Most of the indiscipline of our children is visible to us. Tell them that your brother is one man, you have only one brother. Come, come. He said, I'm happy, but I said, come. Is he not me paying school fees? <laughs> to do what? Is he to join them? Is he the best man? You know, people just mess up their only line. You don't have a spear. Those who don't have spear tires don't dry rough. I've been there before. You drive carefully, you see cellophane paper, you bend. In case there is a nail inside. But today said doesn't matter. You pass last time now. Let them support that one. <laughs> I can tell you, many business people are just dancing around the same point because they have not engaged this law of the spirit of life. Again, my prayer is that every force of indiscipline manipulating any destiny here. Be destroyed today. Yeah. Discipline can also be defined as operating as demanded, not as convenient. The Bible says, "Warn to them that he is in Zion." You know, operating as demanded, not as convenient. Just there. We saw Nehemiah walk at night and day and night and day and the people with him and they never put off their clothes except for worship. But the task was delivered in 52 days. That's not convenient, but that was demanded. You can't give life what it takes and not make the most of it. You sow sparingly, you reap sparingly. You sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. God is no more. Whatever a man sows, and at the level of which he sows, so the level it will, will reap. Please take that in. Self discipline also is being a law to oneself in a bit to accomplish a given task. All things are lawful, they are okay, they are correct. But they don't add up. Towards the delivery of the task in my hand. They are not adding to it, they are eroding from it. All things are lawful for me, Paul said, but not all things are expedient. First Corinthians 6 12. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. There are places we go that they won't know if it didn't come. So why going? 
praise God. If I don't go, they will just say, ah, I didn't go. And they go, they say, ah, so you came, we are not expecting you to come. Ah, we thought you were busy. We don't know you are this loose. There's nothing you are doing here anyway. So when are you going? That's the reward for your coming. Thank you for watching this video to this far for ending. You are a champion. Only champions start and finish. And for finishing, you are really a champion. I have a book for you in the description entitled The Money Secret. This book is going to teach you how to make money in the 21st century. Making money is a skill. This book is going to bless you. Get this book from Amazon. Your life is not going to be the same. Watch the video at the end of this video. Always remember, winners never quit. And quitters never win. Yes. We can. Anywhere you go that does not add value to the people you are going to or to you is a wasted going. Wasted going. No, no, it's my friend since 1962. <laughs> you have not met all your life. Ekpeleo. I just had so I came. They said, sir, who are you, sir? Oh, we were friends and then said, okay, okay. God bless you. Thank you. And then he walks away. You never see him again. Not that you're looking for anything, but you have nothing to do with your time. Life. If you don't make a business of it, you run bankrupt. You don't make a business of living, you go bankrupt with your eyes open. Nobody here will go bankrupt. So, take responsibility.